Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is a uh, ocular drug delivery system. Okay, see drug delivery to the eye is very easy in one hand. On the other hand, drug delivery to the eye is very tough. It is both, it is an easy job and as well as it is a tough job. Why I am saying like this, just I will explain you later in the coming slides. Okay, so here in this photograph, what I have shown is a contact lens, not simple contact lens. Generally, contact lens we are using for the adjustment of the eye instead of using the glasses, instead of using the opticals. Okay, we are using the uh, contact lenses. Now, as a pharmacist, we are in such a way that we are preparing the contact lens, having a drug, having a medication. Just imagine so that the patient can put the simple contact lens, okay, drug will be released slowly and uh, for a longer time, okay, later they can be removed, the, just like a, a simple with a physical with your fingers, okay, yeah. So let us, we will enjoy the topic of ocular drug delivery system, right. So this is my mobile app, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF Okay, right. So after downloading, you go to opening the app, open the app and go to the store option. See the point here, store option. So here I have arranged all my videos uh, in the PDF format, uh, like a MPharmacy course, BPharmacy course and PharmaD courses. Okay, from there you can be view uh, after listening of all these topics. And this is about my YouTube channel. Uh, go to the playlist. See here, playlist option in the my YouTube channel. So I have arranged all my videos in the form of a, uh, in the order, subject wise I have arranged. So all videos, my explanation videos are available. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise videos. Yeah. So this is about your syllabus. See, introduction ocular drug delivery system, introduction, intraocular barriers, very, very important number of times it was appeared in your regular examination, intraocular barriers and methods to overcome. And preliminary study, it is nothing but preliminary study. These topics we will be covered in the part one. See here, this is a part one introduction, anatomy of the eye, as well as intraocular barriers and methods to overcome. Along with, I have added the roots of ocular drug delivery system also. Okay, in the part two that is coming in the next video, ocular formulations and uh, accusers, contact lenses with the drug. Accusers is different, contact lens is different. Okay, see here. Mm, Ocular administration of a drug primarily it is associated with the to treatment of ophthalmic diseases, eye diseases only. Here our interest is not you. We are not using this ocular drug delivery system to deliver the drug into the system in circulation. Okay, our aim, our target is to deliver the drug to the entire part of the eye having a two parts: anterior part, posterior part. This is anterior part. Okay, this is posterior part, keep in your mind, right? Okay, so I is the most easily accessible. It is just, it's on the part on the surface of the body. It is not inner part of the eye. You can see it so easily accessible site for the administration of the medication. And it is easy to administer the drug into the anterior segment. It is very easy. Simple eye drops is more than enough uh, here to, uh, to put the, to install the drops. Okay, so automatically drug will be delivered to the anterior part very easy. But on the other hand, anatomy of the eye is very complex. It is very difficult. It looks like simple ball, but complex. It is. Its structure is complex. It is having a number of barriers. Each barrier restricts the passage of the drug into posterior segment. This part, posterior segment, backside, backside of the eye, posterior part of the eyeball. It is very difficult. That's why I have told you it is easy job as well as it is a very tough job. Yeah. Types of barrier, keep in your mind, there was a number of barriers are there. And all these barriers uh, making a struggle, making struggle. Okay, each and every barrier making a struggle to the uh, entry or passage of the drug. See, that's why this is called here barriers. What is the definition? It create a challenge for the drug to enter into the eye and create the challenging for the drug to enter into the interior part of the eye. So there is a uh, uh, nearly 20 types of barriers are there, but broadly we are classifying into three categories. 
type a type b type c see here type a anatomical barrier type b physiological barrier metabolic barriers all are very 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 important see anatomical barrier these are these anatomical barriers why i am calling anatomy physiology this is a functional physiology means anatomy means a physical structure that's why this is called a physical barriers these exist physically exist physically that's why these are also called as a physical barriers it is a part of body part of eye that's why it is a biological barriers also it is also called as a mechanical barriers also okay right and uh, they, they these exist physically there is a totally five types are there uh, these are the five types of where here you can see each and every type of barrier is very very important especially anatomical barriers are very important tear film barrier corneal barrier conjunctival barrier bab blood aqueous barrier blood retinal barrier all these barriers put no entry board to the drug each and every no entry to the drug no entry board all these are the anatomical barriers now you come to the physiological barrier these physiological barriers try to exit the drug from the uh, eye try to push out try to kick out the drug from the this one okay these are the functional barriers physiological barriers they do not exist physically it is a part of eye defense system uh, like eye blinking turnover uh, tear turnover tears tears uh, and naso lacrimal drainage uh, conjunctival clearance parietal clearance clearance by bulk fluid all these are the very very and metabolic this is main important anatomical barriers are very important keep in your mind metabolic barriers metabolic these are the they break down they try to break down see here three how you can uh, remember all these uh, nicely this is no entry port this try to kick out the drug and these try to break break the drug molecule like a cytochrome p450 family lysosomal enzymes monoamine oxidase all these are try to put the in okay right see first anatomical barrier we will see i have already told you five first one is a tear film barrier so there is a very thin layer will be there this thin layer is nothing but a tear film it is this tear film is always attached see here light sky color blue next is cornea this is cornea in front of the cornea very thin tear film barrier is there it is having a lipid layer and aqueous layer mucin layer also this tear next is cornea this consists of a five epithelium bowman's layer stroma uh, descemens membrane endothelium five layers all layers you have to write in the examination very very important each layer is a one obstacle for the drug and number 3 uh, conjunctival barrier here you can see conjunctival barrier epithelium globulet cells okay blood these are the epithelium cells uh, goblet cells these are the goblet cells blood vessels are also there in the conjunctiva it is a one and only the part in eye which having a blood supply conjunctiva and non pigmented uh, uh, bob b a b bob just like bob okay blood aqueous barrier b a b and b r b blood retinal barrier these are the having a tight junctions retinal pigment epithelium these are the retinal pigment epithelium and here also see b a b uh, non pigmented ciliary epithelium okay it is having a tight junctions it is also having iris capillary endothelium all these structures you have to write in the examination each barrier we will see first one is tear film barrier what i have shown in the last slide tear film barrier so here drug should have a both property your drug molecule should have a uh, both it should have a lipid property as well as a aqueous property then only it is very easy to act. but here the main problem with uh, tears are tears wash out the drug tears it coming it's tears automatically it comes okay and a very thick aqueous layer see here tears wash out the drug uh, wash out. so viscosity of the eye drop should be increased viscosity of eye drops you have to otherwise what happen if you still the water drops it will be wash out that's why you prepare gels eye drop just see here i have shown you gel drops viscosity of the eye drops should be increased so use gels next is use sol gel system 
so in the bottle it it is looks like a solution but when after instilling into the eye it will be converted on contact with eye it is converted into gel that holds the eye very firmly so that uh, uh, tear tear film it, it holds the correctly use muco adhesive polymer eye drops also muco adhesive uh, so here i will show you muco adhesive this is a muco adhesive this muco adhesive it consists of a polymer see here red color lines are polymers muco adhesive polymer whenever eye drop with thumb in contact with the uh, tear film barrier there is a easily easily it try to hold the mucin muco adhesive mucin muco adhesive polymers so this muco adhesive polymer having attachment directly with the mucin layer of tear film so it holds the eye use muco adhesive polymers before application of eye drop a b after application polymer chain adhere to the mucin layer of a tear film penetrates into the eye surface like example as carbomers alginates chitosans etc next is in the tear film you can use the cd also cyclodextrin for hydrophobic drug see if, if your drug is hydrophobic opposite to the aqueous layer uh, opposite to the water uh, what happened this aqueous layer doesn't permits the hydrophobic drug now what you have to do you prepare the cd cd uh, just like the, what we will see in the dvd cd uh, the cd you have to proceed is here nothing but cyclodextrin so this is cyclodextrin it's like a bucket structure drug will not directly enter into the tear film so you have to insert into the uh, this one cd and you can prepare this complex this complex easily crosses here drug will be delivered uh, into here so see here so that drug will be released in the tear film this release drug will be enter into the cornea the structure is very important and next is corneal barrier see this is a corneal barrier having a five layers i have already told you here the problem is a tight junctions is a problem hydrophobic nature it is having a hydrophobic nature it does not permits the hydrophilic drug so what you have to do your drug molecule what you have prepared it is having a both nature uh, oily filic and uh, aqua filic okay that is a hydrophilic as well as a oily filic it should have a both nature then only uh, if it is also if suppose say your drug molecule is uh, completely hydrophilic or completely hydrophobic use penetration enhancers use uh, cyclodextrin also what i have shown the in the previous said same cyclodextrin you can hi so next is uh, conjunctiva yeah it should have a both oily filic as well as aqua filic penetration enhancing compounds like cyclodextrin chelating agents crown ethers bile acids bile salts all everything you can be use it okay they acts as a penetration enhancers so it easily crosses this layer and conjunctival barrier in this conjunct drug permeation depends upon the molecular weight of the drug low molecular weight of the drug easily causes the conjunctival barrier whereas a large molecular weight are very difficult to pass conjunctival barrier use penetration enhancers it loses all this penetration enhancers loses the tight junction so that it helps in the penetration use various nanoparticles liposomes neosomes etc and all and functional barriers like eye blinking here you can see eye blinking this is also one of the biggest barrier so if you keep on blinking of your eye drug will be eliminate fast tear tear turnover okay naso lacrimal drainage see here lacrimal uh, lacrimal so lacrimal fluids which is secreted in the eye it will be drained into the nose see here drained into the nose okay so these are the various problems this naso lacrimal duct this is called a naso lacrimal sac and this is naso lacrimal duct see here naso lacrimal duct so it is a connection between nose and eye okay your all tear drops lacrimal drops will, will be entered so if you instill the eye drops this is also one of the biggest problem the eye drops will be enter into the nose through the naso lacrimal so that's why what you have to do here you have to use a high concentration of a drug in the formulation advise a frequent administration of a drug otherwise uh, whatever you have instilled into the eye it will be come into the nose okay and metabolic barriers these are the metabolic barriers these are the enzymes which are present especially in the anterior part of the eye like cytochrome p50 they try to break down the drug break down the drug 
now so what you have to do you try to use the back route that is systemic circulation you give a drug to the not to the eye you give a drug to the systemic circulation from systemic circulation drug will be enter into the eye through this route this is called a brp blood retinal barrier blood retinal barrier is one of the good route uh, if uh, if you want to avoid the angina yeah so we came to this part yeah a metabolic barriers in this metabolic barrier i have already told you enzymes are present here so these enzymes can be avoided by using the uh, this route brp route and the routes of uh, ocular drug these are number of routes are there this routes of ocular drug administration all these i will explain to you this is a topical route this is a, all these are the injection just like injection need called as a invasive route you have you must have a needle you have to puncture the eyeball you need the expert otherwise this is not possible this is only the easy route i will explain you invasive route we are using a needle here we are we have to making a puncture here non invasive route just a topical route we are not using a needle we are not making the puncture easy and very widely used this route is very widely used generally used to treat the eye diseases reach only to the anterior segment it reaches only to the anterior segment. posterior segment it will not reach by this route non invasive route okay topical formulations are eye drops so eye gels so accusers so contact lens with the active pharmaceutical ingredient all these they releases only on the anterior part of the eye they will not release to the posterior part invasive route they will not sub conjunctival route sub retinal route supra uh, choroidal route intraventricular all these see whatever you have prepared for the formulation thai it must be sterile it must be isotonic it must be microbiologically stable it must be acceptable to the ph it must have acceptable viscosity otherwise eye defense system will try to eliminate the drug so i will end my session here okay because of the poor signal uh, and some disturbances because of the poor signals and all uh, there may be some need and you can be download the app and everything you can enjoy